I often talk about the mainstream media bubble, how most people on television and many of the writers in mainstream press all have the same worldview. They're all capitalists. They all come from this idea where they are taught that there is only one way of doing things, and they aren't taught the criticism of capitalism, or even really, I mean, <laughs> there's even a lack of social democracy. So what we see in the European countries, or what we see in, in the Scandinavian countries, where there's a lot more uh, focus put on public services, like education, like transit, you don't have even that perspective in mainstream press. And they just keep feeding it. So, I mean, let's even take a... So, let's accept the fact right now that there are no socialists on television. None. None at all. There's no Marxists on television. Zero. There are the occasional Bernie supporters. So, there's uh, Nina Turner on CNN. And if you want to be generous, Van Jones. But otherwise, there aren't even really any progressives on television. And it continues today. So... Check out these two new hires that, again, feed into the same mainstream media bubble bullshit. This from CNN. John Kasich signs with CNN as a senior political commentator. Claire McCaskill, former U.S. senator, joins NBC News and MSNBC. Now, these are two people who are just the exact same voices you are already hearing on television. All these networks keep doing are hiring clones of the same people over and over and over again. And they're ones that aren't even successful people. So John Kasich couldn't beat Donald Trump. Now, look, if you want to be generous to John Kasich, he was somebody that was out early against Donald Trump. He hasn't wavered uh, on that at all. But also, he's in a position where he doesn't have to. I mean, he's not fighting for a Senate seat or a congressional seat. He is able to go after Donald Trump, and it's not going to hurt his career. So understand that when you see Republicans go after Donald Trump. The ones that are going after Trump publicly, they have to. Uh, they don't have to worry about losing their job. And even if they do, someone like Jeff Flake, who ended up uh, just getting out of government, he would not vote against Trump. He would publicly say things against Trump, but wouldn't vote against him. Again, showing you that all these people serve the same interests. Now, to go to Claire McCaskill, this is a Democrat who lost her, who lost her, her state, uh, her Senate seat in, in Missouri, lost it to Josh Howley by using a very boring centrist, moderate, or I would say right-leaning view on politics as a Democrat. Now, if you want, you know... <laughs> an even greater idea of who Claire McCaskill is. Actually, before I even show you this clip, how is somebody who just lost their race as a Democrat, she just lost, what political insight can she possibly offer? This is somebody who doesn't understand how to win as a Democrat. What advice, what insight can she possibly give? But now let me show you this clip really showcasing how out of touch Claire McCaskill is. What about people like the new New York Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez? Is she a crazy Democrat? Uh, I, I don't know her. I'm, I'm a little confused why she's the thing. But it's a good example of what I'm talking about. A bright and shiny new object um, came out of nowhere and surprised people when she beat uh, a very experienced congressman. And so she's now um, talked about a lot. I'm not sure what she's done yet to generate that that kind of enthusiasm so <laughs> this is claire mccaskill the person that msnbc just hired as a political analyst and she has no idea why alexandria ocasio cortez is popular i can give you a few right here so one she doesn't take corporate PAC money or doesn't take any corporate money she runs on small individual donations and a grassroots movement that's how she won her race that's number one she's also popular because she supports policies like medicare for all which, by the way, even more than half of Republicans now support, along with 70% of voters. And she also is uh, in favor of setting the highest marginal tax bracket at 70%, meaning every dollar made over $10 million gets taxed at 70%. And guess what? That has a majority of support as well from American voters. So these are the reasons 
why Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is popular and Claire McCaskill isn't. Claire McCaskill, I mean, it, it's one thing if she could understand why Ocasio-Cortez is popular and then maybe not agree with those policies, but she doesn't even understand why she's popular. So <laughs> Claire McCaskill and John Kasich have no idea what actual voters are feeling, what actual people want in terms of policy. These are two losers that are going to offer the same bullshit that anybody else will on any of these networks. I mean, again, I just want to see, I want to see one of these networks hire one socialist, one Marxist, have an actual discussion, a deep dive into uh, not even just ideology, but into the actual system that underlies all of these issues. But they won't because they benefit from this current system. So they're not going to hire a socialist or a Marxist or anybody that will critique capitalism because you know what? They know that it's going to wake people up. Because when you see somebody like Richard Wolff, who uh, I'm going to link to somewhere on this page, when you see someone like Richard Wolff break it down uh, both in detail but also in a way where you can easily understand what he's talking about, It wakes people up to the issues with capitalism and to how to possibly solve the problems that we are facing. And MSNBC, CNN, and of course Fox News don't want to deal with the actual underlying problem of inequality, which is capitalism.